Uh, my name's Chris, Chris Lloyd. My grandfather was uh, Percy James Bryant, and he's the one whose photographs are now with the Sydney City Council. He had an extremely hard life, as many people in that period did. He was born in the early part of the last century. His mother died when he was very young of TB, leaving him and three other children. And he was the eldest, so he endeavoured to fund those children. He did it entirely through labouring work and you know, growing vegetables at the age of 14 and this sort of stuff. Classical self-made person, but always a working dog. He worked for the railways most of his life and he never got a trade, so he never got much education. He never got educated past 12. probably think he started about 17. He went to a bloke called Ernie Best in Paddington and tried to get his first camera. And I think he traded it for a piece of furniture. He had a good eye for sort of picking out what was an interesting scene. My grandfather loved photographing the harbour and the bridge. The bridge was for him one of those iconic things about the way Sydney and Australia grew. And he kind of replaced that later by taking colour pictures, slides of the uh, opera house, because it was the next big thing. That's my grandmother at, high, at primary school in Paddington. She says her at the age of 13 in 1919. The date's very important. Literally, just as this photograph's being taken, she was packed up and sent back to Bathurst with the rest of her brothers and sisters. Why? Spanish flu. Everyone had to get away. They got kids out in the country to get away from the flu. He was one of those people who saw public institutions like the City of Sydney or the railways as great institutions. So he wasn't a raging left winger, but he did see public service as far more important than private. So for him, for his photographs, he never thought they were any good, didn't think much of them, they were just photographs. For him to see, know that they were lodged there, as my mother at 90 Five, ninety-six. I better not put, make it too old. As she said, this would just be an enormous, uh, we'll just say, piece of pride for him that they went to an institution that was a public institution. And more than anything else, the city of Sydney was the right place, even though a lot of the photographs aren't always of the city of Sydney, because that's where he lived and breathed all his life. <laughs>